Oh yeah, sure. It's a new thing, but of course we've planned it like seven seven months. We've been like developing it. Of course, you know, it was like kind of slowly. We've been thinking about the idea, about the format, what we want to bring to the table of the industry in general, and finally uh, we decided to create a podcast. Uh, and I'm, I'm host there together with Pablo Buja, and we're simply inviting our developers uh, that simply. Uh, represents different discipline, different expertise. We are simply, we want to simply sell to the industry the way we work at CD Projekt Red and kind of make it understandable and appealing for developers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's important because, you know, uh, we really care, care about players and community in general. And uh, we believe that being transparent and talking about the process, uh, it, uh, it, it's also a way to communicate to the entire uh, community. Uh, so I believe we'll have some kind of a dialogue between them and, and us um, when, uh, through this podcast too. So I already have seen a few, few ideas that community brought up uh, in comments. And they are great ideas and, and probably will follow some of them. So yeah, it's, it's actually making the, to the project also a bit more open uh, through, through this podcast, which is cool. Yeah, it, it, it is always challenging because it is another thing on your plate, right? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but, but we believe it's, it's generally worth it. it, it, it it's worth it. So... Um, as I said, as I said before, we, we care about players, right? And and uh, and we feel that being transparent and open with them, it's 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 a good thing. We don't want to, you know, like be like closed behind the doors and be like totally, you know, um, not approachable. Yeah. We we want to be approachable, and 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 this is the, the our style. Biggest satisfaction is generally the the scene system the cinematics uh, which is like very immersive and it was it is satisfying and was satisfying because it was very challenging and um, and that's why yeah, yeah, absolutely like it's so much potential in in this IP that I cannot even stop imagining what we can do uh, with it so much so much we can deliver it's huge, broad, dense, and yeah, yeah, super important for us. You know, we always make games that are also, it's not only an experience itself, it's always a comment to nowadays problems. Uh, as you know, let's say Cyberpunk 2020, when Mike Ponsme was kind of creating it, it was a kind of comment on the corporation side of the world and right now in cyberpunk 2077 is more than that corporation is already there but it's more about human nature it's about it's it's, it's more about you know people living like a bit like empty shells you know by themselves yeah. not socializing enough being like by themselves only so it's always a comment uh, our games are always commenting a little bit the, the nowadays situations, just to uh, just to uh, just to make a reaction in community and gamers in general, uh, kind of self-reflection on, on on their own life even like, and yeah, it's important to us. It's it's not only game. It's it's more than that.